was sick, huh? <laughs> what is a Cavu Day? It's where everything goes and anything's possible. It's a perspective applied to lifestyle. It's where hard work turns into hard play and life becomes clear above visibility unlimited. Please be seated for departure. Cavu Day is about good friends and experiencing life to the fullest value. I hope you can join me in the Cavu Super Cup to go and search for the ultimate Cavu Day. Before I get started on this next adventure, I first want to say thanks to everybody who's watching. I hope you guys are enjoying these short videos. The point of these adventures or sharing these adventures is to inspire people to get outside and, and not do what calls to me, but do what calls to you. You know, it's I always say that I'd rather die with more memories than dreams. So although it's important to dream big, we should all just go do big. I mean, that's that's kind of the point of life is to experience as much as we can. So. Hopefully sharing some of these adventures uh, gets people psyched to get outside and do what calls to them the loudest. The other point is to introduce some of the most amazing people I know. My friends have always inspired me to try and be the best version of myself and to go and seek out uh, new things, to learn new things. It's one of the best things in life is to, um, to learn new things. I can't think of too many better things in life than being a beginner. And introducing people to those inspiring friends is, is a... Well, it's an honor for me. So each one of these episodes is hopefully going to introduce a new person uh, that has brought something or, or many things to my life that I feel is, are, are valuable. Uh, must have been early 20s, I moved to Missoula. So half a lifetime ago, I moved to Montana. And one of my first friends that I met was a guy named Nick Franchek, or affectionately referred to as Sick Nick. Yeah, I mean, so I've known uh, Jeff for shit about 20 years now, mostly through, uh, friends in the climbing community but i remember i was up on top of mount sentinel hiking and uh, jeff was up flying his hang glider doing these like low passes over the top of the mountain at super high speeds and i was like holy shit i need to learn to do that he's pretty much a ninja at everything he does he's a really accomplished whitewater paddler um mountain biker god you name it alpine skier and back then we were just rowdy kids uh, i remember in the early 2000s i taught him how to fly a hang glider now we're both in our 40s we have kids and we're still having a blast getting into the mountains and getting after it now that my kids can run whitewater and do all kinds of pretty epic ski lines and it's just uh it's really fun sharing these activities with them and when uh, when Jeff told me that he was uh, going to learn to fly uh, powered airplanes, to be honest, I was a little surprised because I've always known Jeff as a free flight pilot. And but once he started to explain his thoughts on the potential of having a powered plane, it really got some you know ideas churning in my head about ways we could use it to get into more remote places to uh, do some of the activities that we love and explore you know new terrain, new possibilities. So tomorrow, uh, we're going to jump in the Backcountry Super Cup. We're going to fly back into the Idaho Backcountry, and we're going to throw our speed wings in the back. One of the issues we have here in Missoula is all of the mountains that we fly our speed wings off of uh, surrounding town are all, yeah, they're pretty, pretty low elevation. You know, it's, it turns into about a two minute flight. So what we're really looking for are those bigger lines and um, flying the airplane in um, Idaho, I've noticed that there are game trails that go up, you know, four to 7,000 foot peaks that are directly over airstrips. So the goal is, is to land at a friend's private strip and to hike a series of um, game trails. I think it's big elk trails. They they look fantastic all the way to the ridge line and based on what I can tell it'll be about a 4,000 foot flight directly to the plane so in theory uh, we should be able to fly into the mountains land the airplane uh, hike up to hopefully find a launch and uh, then fly our speed wings right back to the plane to fly home so man it's something I've been thinking about ever since I um, got into flying bush planes and um, fingers crossed it'll all work out so we'll see. The thought of going into a pretty remote place and checking out uh, a new speed line that that nobody had flown before um, 
you know, what an opportunity. All right, well, we made it, landed the Cabu Cub, got everything out, all the speed wings, and uh, yeah, actually it started out being pretty turbulent and we were a little concerned that we weren't gonna, uh, you know, that it wasn't a good idea to go fly into a tight canyon with as much wind as we were seeing up high, but we're a bit in the shadow and didn't get beat up too bad getting low, so we made it in, almost a two hour flight, and uh, yeah, we're gonna hike up there behind me. That actually, the top of that's just a bench, so it's gonna go for another maybe 2,000 feet above that. And hopefully be landing back here in several hours. Should be a fun adventure. Yes, yeah, Nick's over there warming up. <laughs> Cold! You! Beautiful. Here we go. Mm -hmm. On our way. Man, couldn't have picked a better day, huh? Oh, it's spectacular. The ability to hike and fly just really opens up so many opportunities. And, and then speed flying just takes that to the next level. And speed flying is great because it kind of brings back some of the elements of hang gliding that I felt like paragliding was missing, hence the speed factor. But being able to, you know, proximity fly close to the mountain, come in for fast landings, uh, it's tough to beat. Starting to get up there now. Working our way up slowly. See if we can find a launch. Oh, we're almost up on the ridge line. Right. Down to the river in the airstrip. Probably go up and launch from those grassy slopes up there. Pretty light winds, but a little bit from my back right now. So I think we can launch and hook it in. Well, I think we're at a good launch spot. We got winds coming from this way. So we're gonna launch down that slope make a hard right and fly this line right down to the airplane, which is down there by the houses. I think we have about 3,800 feet, I think, close to it. Yeah, beautiful day. About as good as it gets, huh? Fuck yeah, ma'am. Pull up your pants. Yeah, it's coming from here, huh? Just pick a good cycle. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. That's work for me. I'm after you. Okay, launching.
It's a perfect fit. Who done died in this major king? Who come through in this major thing? I do it, Grande, I need seven rings. Hit the stage, everybody sings. Never let them knock your hustle off. All that self doubt ain't the trait of a boss. And now I'm trying to go and lead the way. Straight to the top. That's where my team needs to stay. We comfy. Art got us leaving the country. What do you really want from me? Either judge me or love me. I've been a man for a minute now. Dude, that was sick, huh? That was sick. That was really sick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was awesome. Landing right back at the plane doesn't get any better.